That was beautiful. Epilogues inside the Channel 93.3 Jeep Garage. Somebody I used to know. This is a new song you guys have just come up with, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, we've been doing, we, you know, just getting back into it. It's been such a departure for the last couple of years that it feels so much better just being here. It, it feels, feels fresh? Feels like, it feels like home, you know? And cool. So it's good. So do you find that now that you're back together, you miss it? The, I mean, like sometimes you have to step away to appreciate absolutely absolutely we yeah 100 percent. we all needed a little bit of a, a reboot you know we were doing it for about 15 years and uh, it's, now it's about 15 years but mm -hmm. ugh, i just yeah, well i feel like when you first started not to interrupt like you were all in different places in your lives now i mean now you've got families you have different priorities a, a job that absolutely. you said are working more than you ever have in your life work. so yeah. does, how does that inspire the songs and the ideas you're coming up with um you know i think it, it, it kind of offers a, a fresh perspective. I've noticed that, you know, in my 20s, everything was really negative and, you know, there was a, a very, very fine line of, of just a common theme. And now, you know, it, we've got our adult issues where, <laughs> you know, you know, finding, trying to be happy, trying to be, you know, find yeah. yourself and just, you know, not trying to fit into other, you know, ideas of what it should be. You're starting to, I, you know, just accept that this is this is life, and understand and find the beauty in that, and mm -hmm. it actually just changed a lot of things. And I think we're all kind of found that individually, yeah. and we're kind of coming together. Perspective for sure. It's like you could, I mean, years ago when we were doing it, you get pretty mad, or certain things would get to you, and then like when you're in your current day job, you would just beg to have some of those problems again, or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the freedom to create. So I think you know, for me at least, like having to step away, especially moving away from Denver. Um, just you know, count your blessings that we're standing in this room playing again, and mm -hmm. it's inspired new material as you just heard. So it's like, um, you know, we're we're excited about it. Very cool. It's the epilogue. See him tonight at the Gothic Theater. What's the next song? We're gonna play a cover, and I am terrified of this because it's one of <laughs> it's my favorite band. Yeah, and, uh, and it's like you don't screw this yeah, up. Yeah, you don't. You don't. Whose <laughs> decision was this? I think this was like this was. <laughs> Nick Cage's decision. I think. Oh, Nick what Cage. Is? Yeah, <laughs> he's full of bad ideas. So we're gonna do this, and I'm I'm not sorry, but no, nah, we're gonna do great. I'll be fine. It's gonna be great. <laughs> All right, what is it? Oh yeah, it's uh, Karma Police. <laughs> All right, the epilogues inside the Channel 93.3 Jeep Garage.